All right. Thank you for joining this afternoon. Today, we are going to review voice on the soft client and the mobile app. Over here on my left side of my screen is my personal cell phone. As you can see here, I've got my native dial pad right here that's associated with my iPhone. And then with me also is my Office at Hand application. Over here on the right side is my desktop application that I can download to any laptop, PC, or Mac. Now, the benefit of having voice on both devices is I've got the capability to do a couple things. At the end of the day, voice is two-way. So voice could be outbound as well as inbound. Now, quickly, when I'm making an outbound call, I do have the capability of broadcasting an outbound personal DID that is associated with me as a user. However, I also have the capability of broadcasting a company number or a call group number. Now, my administrator can actually make this choice for me and lock it down, and I'm only able to broadcast a certain number. But in this case, in my demo account, I actually have access to be able to do both. So you just know that I have that capability from an outbound perspective. Now, with me here on the call today is Chris Anzalone uh, out of Ohio. Chris, if I may ask you a question, why sure. is an outbound call important to a potential customer? The outbound call to, to a potential customer is important because it displays their caller ID from that business rather than a, if you're using a cell phone, it's, it's not displaying that, that, that corporate caller ID. Okay. Now, there was a recent statistic that came out, uh, and let me ask your opinion on this. Uh, there was a recent statistic that came out that said that less than 70% of first calls actually connect on the very first try. Would you agree with that statistic? I would have thought that might be higher, but yes, I agree. So that means less than 30% of outbound voice calls connect with the party they need to connect to on the very first try. So being able to control your outbound caller ID now becomes a marketing tool. Would you agree? I would agree. Absolutely. So now if I'm going to show up on somebody's missed call log, what kind of behavior do I want them to have coming back in? And I can tell you where I'm guilty, and I know Chris can concur with this because he's done this with me many a time, where I, Chris will call me and leave me a voicemail and I'll never listen to it. What I'll do is I'll go to my call log and I'll see missed call by Chris Anzalone. I'll hit redial and Chris first thing out of his mouth. Did you get my voicemail? No, I saw I missed your call and hit redial. So the reason why I point that out is because we are all human and have creatures of habit, and this is a very common theme out there in the marketplace. So as a customer, understanding how you can influence your outbound caller ID now becomes a very powerful tool within the soft client. Now let's reverse that because inbound calling is a very important uh, part of this as well. So receiving a phone call, especially on a personal cell phone, now becomes a differentiator. So let me go ahead and call myself here. I have a Yealink device over here to the left side of my desk that you guys aren't seeing in this demo. But you can see right away that my office at hand audio pops up both on my desktop as well as on my personal cell phone. Now, what I like about this feature is I can see Office at Hand audio <clears throat> right here on my personal cell phone. So I know I'm going to answer this call very differently if it's a business call than if it were my wife calling me, right? Yeah, we don't want to, we, we don't want to listen to that conversation. But if it were a business conversation, I would now answer the call appropriately. And if I were part of a call queue, I could obviously hit that number. And now I've got my software features based right here on my cell phone. So I can now put the call on mute. I can go to my keypad. I can change my speaker options. I can add other participants onto the call very easily. I can move the call from an audio only call to a video call. So Chris, here in a couple minutes, I'll demonstrate that, but let me go ahead and show you how the rest of this works. So now I've got the capability of actually going to my cloud-based PBX functions. So things I could normally do on my desktop, I can now do on my mobile app. I could put the call on hold. I could actually transfer to an internal extension. 
I'm going to save this switch to carrier for a moment because we'll come back to this here in a couple minutes. This is a nice little piece of disaster recovery, or if I decide to move out of my, you know, my office environment can be a very key piece for uh, your environment. Now, we do offer two types of call recording on the platform. There's on-demand call recording, which I can hit this button and now start recording the phone call, but we also offer automatic call recording, which is administratively driven and administratively managed. And if there's more detail needed on automatic call recording, please ask your office and specialist. At the same time, I could park the phone call and let a team of people know, hey, there's a call parked on 808, and they can go grab that phone call. Or I could flip the phone call to any off-net 10-digit U.S. Canadian or Puerto Rican phone number. So it makes it very easy for me to move calls around. Now, let's say I'm having issues with my cell phone and I want to move the call to my desktop. With a click of a button, I can now move this call from my mobile device and actually put it onto my desktop. And here's all of my same features that I just went over. The one that's not here is the switch to carrier, which we'll come back to here in a minute, because that is a cell phone only feature. So in this case, I'm now continuing to have this conversation on my desktop. But let's say for whatever reason, my internet were to go down. Now I've got that capability to move the call over to my mobile phone, and now I'm continuing to have that conversation on a mobile device. But we have one thing that we want to take a look at. I'm actually on a Wi-Fi network today, so that means I'm still on my Internet. I'm having a high-definition voice over IP call. Now, if for some reason my Internet were to go down, I could actually move the call from my ISP as a voice over IP call and now put it on my native iOS or Android device. And again, that's carrier agnostic. So now I'm answering the call on my personal cell phone. There's my FaceTime. There's all my other applications sitting right here on my desktop. Chris, do you have any questions in regards to how that works? No, works fantastic. Thank you. All right. So real quickly for the last piece of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and move it back to my desktop for one quick minute, and then I'm going to switch it back over to my cell phone so that way you guys can see this clearly. So that way it's now back on my application and not on my personal cell phone. So Chris, this is nice because I know you don't have office at hand, but I do. So we can continue to have this conversation because we're already in a two-way conversation. And now we can continue to have this conversation. I'm going to move this call over to a video call. And while I move this call to a video call, let me text you the link, and then you can join me at the same time. How are you guys doing? So now I can actually take this link and share it and actually text it to you. So now you can actually be on board while we're continuing to talk and have this conversation. Chris, are you still on with me? Yes, sir. Fantastic. So you can see how you can easily move your technologies around from one platform to another on AT&T Office at Hand very simply with one click of a button. So remember, there's nothing on AT&T Office at Hand you can't do within five clicks or less. That's what we're always going for here, five clicks or less. Chris, is there anything you'd like to add before we wrap up for the day? No, I, I, I love the application. I love all the all the features and functions. Uh, one thing that I would like to add is I love the ability to now I'm not utilizing a personal cell phone number. Uh, all of my communications is now going to stay within the corporate environment, and it's not going to terminate any kind of cell phone uh, or a personal cell phone. So everything stays in the, in the corporate environment. That's the part that's fantastic. Awesome. Well, Chris, I appreciate your time this afternoon. Look forward to meeting again, and we'll talk soon. Thank you, sir.